And only time will tell if Chiloba is a man with nine lives. No? Eleven families of Kenyatta University students who perished in a tragic accident in Maungvoi on March 18th have received compensation amounting to 181,818 shillings each. Elsewhere, the teaching and referral hospital mortuary in Isiolo County will be closed for the next eight weeks. This closure is to facilitate a complete overhaul of the faulty body preservation equipment. Innocent Ogaro with more on News Roundup. Following the accident that occurred on the Mombasa Nairobi Highway, claiming the lives of 10 Kenyatta University students instantly, Vice Chancellor Paul K. Wainaina offered words of encouragement to the bereaved parents. He urged them to stay strong during this difficult period and remain connected to the university community. We also have one serious case. The student, you still remember Oscar? Oscar is still hospitalized and he is actually in ICU from that time. And what I would urge is we keep on praying. In Isiolo County, the County Director of Medical Services, Dr. Mohamed Abdi Boru, said that the hospital management has already obtained a court order allowing them to dispose of unclaimed bodies in the teaching and referral hospital mortuary. The move is to pave way for the contractor to begin a complete overhaul of the facility. reality facelift reality board and management to receive your uh, county government Befanya. this mutual of, of, of ours is going to be completely everything is going to be completely new uh, the old machines are going to be removed and completely replaced with the new ones easy uh, so they are not they were not reliable so we are going to completely replace all of them also in Kajiado County, a symposium convened by the International College of Peace Studies brought together intellectuals and high-ranking government figures to tackle issues surrounding leadership and ethics in the society. Led by Dr. Kennedy Waningu, participants highlighted instances of poor governance and corruption that plagues the nation, emphasizing on the necessity for ethical leadership and advocated for educational programs focusing on leadership development. Na subuhi ya leo natamani kuleta habari hii iliyo jema ya kwamba ni vyema kuweza kupata masomo na masomo iliyo bora sio bora masomo ni kwa sababu tunaposoma vyema unaweza kujibeba vizuri unaweza kuwakilisha taifa vizuri unaweza kuwakilisha hata wale ambao mnafuatana nao katika kazi vizuri Recently we have seen uh, the appreciation of our Kenyan currency that is the Kenya shillings against the dollar after a long period of decline this is quite impressive. It is a positive sign of our economic development because you realize that Kenya is a net importer. In Turkana County, the county government has initiated a plan to compensate pastoralists who lost their livestock due to the drought in South Turkana. According to Turkana Governor Jeremy Lomorukai, 133 people in the Kanaudian area of South Turkana have benefited with five goats each after their livestock died due to effects of climate change. Any money allocated to any project of this country, that project must be implemented to the latter. We must ensure there is no money that will just disappear like that without doing what was intended uh, for the people of Tukana County. And that is exactly what we are we are doing here. So the program is purely for restocking. Innocent Ogaro, KTN News. Ahead in business news.